All right, guys, it, it makes way more sense now. Bloomberg is calling this the biggest monetary policy shock of this cycle. And when I show you what exactly happened and how it's playing out and where it could go from here, I think you might agree in what they said. Now, I realize housing markets are local. If you're in Austin, housing is a disaster. There's some other areas like Florida that look like they're brewing to be disasters. But here in Nashville, outside of the core of Davidson County, it is scorching hot. In fact, I called this. I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to turn into a bubble again. What? in the world happened. Now, what set off this massive, massive inflation? You can see here, oh no, Wall Street sharply lower after inflation sparks sell off. Everybody laughed it off, called it a one-off, and then we get yet another inflation gauge came in hotter for February. This is turning into a trend. Maybe it's over. Maybe March won't be so hot. We get March's report just recently, and of course, hot inflation again pushes markets rate cut expectation. Rate cuts have been pushed out. We got three hot inflation reports. Now, Bloomberg thinks they know what happened. And it started on December 12th. Let's take a look at mortgage rates on December 12th. Now, mortgage rates on December 12th were 7.09. They had gone on. This is the sixth month that they had been in the sevens. You have to go back all the way to July 18th to see a six handle. And really, when I tell you where they dropped, you'd have to go all the way back to May to see mortgage rates and where they landed in just the span of a day, guys. Just a day. So what happened? Bloomberg posted this article, which by the way, I highly recommend you read. It's called What 60,000 Headlines Say About the Fed's Next Move. And it shows that in December, Powell delivered a major pivot by hinting, hinting at a swifter shift toward rate cuts. Now, he gave the markets a boost and helped the economy dodge a downturn. According to this article, you see, here is a chart that they posted, and it's of leading indicators. And you can see that, that the business employment dynamics started tanking, and they were actually leading us into a recession. And then Powell made this really weird dovish pivot where he's like, well, we may just cut rates sooner. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be so inflationary. And of course, you can see this yellow line, private non-farm non payrolls, and it immediately started jutting back up. Now, the truth is the now we're paying with inflation because of this dovish pivot where he said we could have swifter rate cuts. When you look at the 10-year, guys, we went from 378 to 466 just this week. That's almost a 100 basis point move in four months. I think that it's very possible we could get to 8% mortgage rates again in the next six weeks. If we get a hot inflation report, I mean, look at this. We've moved, again, from 1214, we've gone from 6.6 .6 .6 to 7.5. So in four months, we've moved 90 basis points. It's only going to take another six weeks if we just continue this trend up. And you think about hot inflation print or a Fed, crazy Fed announcement. They're coming up in just a few days. They're going to be making some statements that may push rates down and may push rates up. I have no idea. But what I do know is, is that as this is moving up, things are getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Now, who knows? It's an election year. There are doing all kinds of high-level things that manipulate our market. Everybody knows that this market is being manipulated by all kinds of powers that be that are way, way beyond anything that we can forecast or predict, right? They, we can look at leading indicators all day long, but these guys shift stuff around. You know, they make, they do, they do what they want to do. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me at all if they pull some shenanigans and keep this thing going for another few months. But as rates tick higher, as inflation comes in hotter, interest rates have to go up if inflation's coming in hotter. And there's a lot of inflationary things happening right now. And so I would expect inflation to continue going up. I feel like even though goods deflation is here, right, we're seeing a lot of goods drop in price. You hear about cars uh, starting to drop in price again, you know, Tesla's disaster EV report. I mean, there's a lot of pain on the good side, but services are taking off. I mean, I think single family rent, even rent in apartments, even though they're empty downtown, rents have been trending up the past few months. Now, seasonally, that's expected. But the problem is, guys, 
as rents are going up, that's a big chunk of inflation data. It's very possible we continue to get hot prints on inflation. And if those hot prints come in, we could be at 8% mortgage rates in the next eight weeks. Okay. Now, if we hit 8%, I would expect demand to just completely collapse. Okay. At 8%, everybody just checks out. And if that happens, is everybody is going to think it's a horrible time to buy if we hit 8%. And that's just the truth. Everybody's going to go, you know what? I quit. 8%, can't handle it, don't want to do it, I'll rent. And so it's very possible that 8% mortgage rates could absolutely obliterate demand in this market. Now, we already are expecting demand to peak for the year. I mean, May typically is peak buying season, at least here in Tennessee. Now, it may be seasonally different in other places, but if it hits 8%, look out below. Everybody's just going to go home. I, I actually think that'd be I, I'm rooting for 8% rates. I, I would love to see them go higher. I think that's the only way we're going to get any kind of resolution on the housing market. It's just absolutely crushing. And there's a lot of pain out there, guys. I talk to people every day that are being crushed by mortgage rates, and it's really sad. It's it's really sad. It's it's tough. It is really, really painful. So I know there are a lot of people like, please don't go to 8 But I'm telling you guys that the market needs more inventory. The only way to get it is for it to blow past eight. It blows past eight, guys, let's go. Now we're gonna have a housing market that'll that'll work for people. I really, really believe that, of course. But I do think it's possible. In six weeks, we've been at 8% mortgage rates. And I think that just because you look at trend, right? Four months, 90 basis points. So just go a little bit further, six more weeks, we're at eight. I hope we get there, guys. Thanks for watching.